designing experiment and we're going to be working on population and sample in this topic. Now in the illustration that I have on the board, you'll see my population here, which is a group of individuals and you're trying to find or trying to uh, create an experiment out of by collecting data set from your uh, population. So the population is right here and when you collect a certain or certain number of individuals from the population, this will be your sample. And it's very important in statistics that you know the difference between population and sample. Now, an example of this is, let's say I want or I'm interested to find the average height of all the students in Barstow High School. So uh, from ninth grade af up until uh, the 12th grade, I'll be asking each one of them about their height. And uh, if I found their average height, then I was able to use the population because I use every single student in Barstow High School in that experiment. And that is a population. And when we say sample, I just, let's say I'm just looking for, or I just use all my students in AP Statistics as my sample and ask each one of them for their height and find its average height. And that will be uh, um, a sample because I didn't use all the students in Barso High School, I just use my students in AP Statistics in my experiment. And that's the difference between population and sample. Now, census. Census is a term we use when we attempt to uh, find an information out of the population. So let's say on number one, this is already a census because I'm using or I find the average height of all the students in Barso High School. and. Uh, the term that I'm using there will be census because I use all of them or all the individuals or all the students in the Barstow or in Barstow High School. So the operative word there, there is all. So I use all the students. Now, the second one is sampling. And sampling is just um, taking an information out of, of course, the sample. So let's say, like on the second example right here, this is already sampling because I'm just using my students and I'm not using students that's not in my room in this particular experiment. So that's sampling. Now population versus sample. In this illustration, I'm just showing you two different groups of notation. One is for population and one is for sample. So it is important statistics that you note how to differentiate statistical measure from a given population and from a given sa sample. And this is how we differentiate the uh, statistical measure in statistics. For population, we use Greek letters for statistical measures. So for example, we use mu as a symbol for mean in population, and we use the Greek letter sigma if we're using the standard deviation based out of the population. Whereas in sample, if we took the mean or the average based out of the sample, we'll use X bar. And for the standard deviation, we'll use the small letter S. So that's the difference between the two. And once again, it's important that notation, or you know your notation in statistics, so you'll be able to go further and understand some statistical problems that you might read in some questions. So let's say I have an example right here. I took the average height of all BHS students. So in this case, since I took all the height in Barstow High School, my notation would be mu. So the average height of all the students in Barstow High School is stated as 65 inches. So I use mu because I'm using the population. And for this particular example, I'm just using the average height of students in room 20. So this is just a sample, so I'm using x bar instead of the mu. So x bar is equal to 66.2 inches. So once again, these are just made up numbers. So I just want to tell you the difference between the mu and the x bar. There are several techniques in designing an experiment. And there's also different techniques on how to uh, find sample from a population. And it's important that you know um, these techniques because finding a good sample is important in statistics for you to be able to generalize a more accurate result based out of the uh, population. So the first um, sampling technique that we have is we call it simple random sample and by definition it means giving everyone a chance to be chosen in the sample. The second 
uh, technique will be stratified random sample, which means collecting sample from the group or strata. And the third one is cluster, and cluster is dividing population into groups to find your sample. And the multi-stage sample is you use different sampling techniques to create a sample. And I'll have a detailed illustration of each one of the, these so that you'll understand what the difference are in uh, this type of sampling techniques. Let's start with simple random sampling. And in simple random sampling, you basically have a population and you took uh, random individuals out, out of the population. And once you have that sample, we, that particular technique is what we call the simple random sampling. And an example of this is, let's say, in all my students in AP statistics, I gave you um, each one a number and then I put that number inside a box and then I pick the first 20 students in that box box and by picking those students I am performing a simple random sampling and then the next one is stratified random sampling in stratified random sampling um, it's a little bit more complex than simple random sampling because from the population you take certain groups based out of that population and from that group you uh, pick some individuals on each group to create your own sample. An example of which is, let's say, I'm trying to uh, uh, experiment on... An example of which is I'm trying to experiment on the correlation of height and GPA of the students in Barstow High School. So in that particular experiment, I uh, went through all the grades levels, so ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade, and let's say I picked 20 students for each class or for each uh, levels and then from those each from those levels I'm going to pick let's say two from ninth grade two from uh, 10th grade two from 11th grade and two from the 12th grade and the sample that I'm getting or collecting is the sample that I um, the sample that I got from using stratified random sampling so that's how stratified random sampling works We also have cluster sampling. And in cluster sampling, it's basically getting groups of individuals from the population. And let's say I created group one, group two, group three, up until group 10. Uh, so I group 10 samples. And out of those 10 groups, I, let's say I collected group one, group seven, and group 10 to be included in my sample. And that particular technique that I just did is what we call as the cluster sampling so you group them up and then you pick certain groups from the subgroups that you collected and use that as a sample so that's the cluster sampling and the multi-stage sampling it's one technique wherein from the population let's say the first level that you did was to um, use srs or simple random sampling to pick the first level or the first group and out of those that first group, you group them up into several subgroups and perform, let's say, a cluster sampling from picking the groups that you want to be included in your sample. So this particular um, technique is what we call the multi-stage sampling because you have different stages and on each stage you have different sampling technique that is being used to find the ultimate sample or the sample that you want to use in your experiment. And those are the four types of uh, sampling design that you can use in designing a good experiment in statistics.